Não tem aqui? Não tem aqui? Não, não tem aqui. Ah, aqui é outro. Não, não tem aqui. 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 Não, não <laughs> Only outside. There might be a possibility for us, uh, I don't know, being locked inside here. Oh, my friend just told me that the keys, they, like, it's just locking but not unlocking, so uh, chronicles of their, of their accommodation. Anyway guys, uh, as always, uh, I'm just here. And uh, uh, nothing much. If you see me with this, this uh, is just my notebook and I promised you earlier that we'll speak about why I journal, you know. Excuse the, the noise, we are currently in the accommodation and it's slightly echoish because we don't have much in the accommodation so it's just my, my voice bouncing over the walls so just excuse me. So uh, this book of mine, I wouldn't say that I'm an expert when it comes to journaling and uh, maybe I've journaled for a very long time, you know, I'll be lying to you. But I've tried journaling for the past uh, six to seven months and how did I come up with journaling or rather how did I uh, get this idea of journaling and as always you know honestly speaking I'm that person who loves doing research and you know the flower and it's a common thing so this is not, not a few months ago like, probably I always felt like uh, when the day ended I really needed to press or rather take a note of how the day was trying to break down my day how my day go did I learn anything? Have I gained anything during the day? What are some of the challenges that I've encountered throughout the day? So those are some of the things which I felt like I've been missing a lot. And also to keep tabs on ideas that usually come in my mind. Because in a span of uh, 12 hours, which is during the day, in Saudi Arabia you work for around 8 hours. So those 8 hours is a lot which usually helps me to the colleague, getting new ideas, rush of a new concept coming into my mind. So those small, small details, they eventually end up something big. So I wouldn't say that I get to document everything, but at least the day doesn't go empty. So I try to recount how the day has been in terms of uh, concept and ideas. Because most of the time where we work, there's more of a, of a long time. You, know? you have times where you mostly own. More ideas usually come into you. And those ideas, I don't like uh, for them to go unnoticed. I love documenting such days, such moments within the course of the day, maybe on my phone, document a little, but at the end of the day, I love trying to remember some ideas. So to me, honestly, it has really helped me. And I would actually say, if, I mean, if you feel like you'd want to document a day, and that's how basically I started. I started by maybe sharing one day, writing down, hey, I woke up at this time, I did this, what are some of the challenges I encountered throughout the day? Was this, this, and that? And at the end of the day, I discovered that okay, after maybe a week, I go back to my my book. I just check it out. After checking it out, I eventually end up. You see, these are the pages. Quite a few. These are probably six months. Uh, so honestly, I really feel awesome. It has always been my to-go thing after work, like right now I'm just from work and I just figured out it's, it's important I do what I do best, that is, I seclude maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes, I write something, try to break down the day, how it was, some of the things that I've you know, managed to understand, some of the things that I found, I found them challenging, maybe a fun time, a fun moment of the day, you see, but at the end of the day, by the way, I discovered that generally it has been it has played a big role to my life for the past six months because I've been able to keep tabs on a lot of stuff that has happened to my life from the from the little and tiny things which people most of the time people just take it for granted, you know. So to me, it has always helped me, and I look forward to it. And if I miss one day. Actually, it has already become a habit. 
And by the way, you guys should read Atomic Habits by James Clear. And these are some of the things mostly I've tried to incorporate into my life in terms of uh, making the day productive, small habits. So it just started slowly, slowly, slowly. And I always felt like after journaling, my day is almost complete. So right after work, I love journaling and just trying to get a breakdown of the day and just see how it goes. So it's nothing much, but something definitely that I would request you guys if you get time. Then it's quite important you you try and check it out. Just get a book, a pen. I know, by the way, I know you guys people are used currently to having notions on their phone, that application for, for planning and all that, and having notebooks on the phone. So the beauty of journaling, using your pen and, 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 uh, and a book, this. And that reminds me of something. It's a friend of mine, a Ghanaian friend of mine, who <laughs> they reminded me that uh, this book, they call it the Jota. So if there's any Ghanaian person in the, in the the comments below just level with me. Is it true that you guys call this uh, a jota? You know, where you write things. So it's just a thing that I remember that we worked with a uh, big shout out to you. It's called Mr. Jakob. Uh, created memories. So basically, that's, that's the beauty of writing. You write by your pen, it takes you back for a while, and more ideas come because you get a feeling of those days that I used to write, those days that I have managed to pass through, like in high school, primary school, uh, in universities, I was going to university in colleges as well. So, I mean, journaling is important to me. So you should try out actually. So let me write something and then after that, uh, we see how the day will go. So, Let's see. See you in the next video guys, I hope you also try it out.